tip that hyperdrive button, Michael. All righty, engage the hyperdrive. Hey, it's Daisy Ridley. Good Hi, morning. Everybody. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Very good. <laughs> very this is good. very past my bedtime, but I'm very happy to meet you all. If you had the choice, who would you have chosen Ray to be related to? That can include no one at all. Hmm. I think if I had the choice, it would have been Han, because working with Harrison was so awesome. And I always loved uh, the connection between them. I thought it felt quite fatherly. What was it like acting in Star Wars? Nice, nice, simple question. It was, um, well, it's weird because I started doing it when I was like 21 and now I'm 28. So it was, it was like five or six years. It was a really long time and it was amazing. It was everything I think that anyone that loves Star Wars would hope for. Got to work with awesome people, got to work on awesome sets, got to run around with a lightsaber and um, use the force. It was awesome. Queensland Children's Hospital School. I'd like to know, how long does it take you to get the lightsaber skills right? And how long does it take for them to do your hair? Thanks, bye. <laughs> Hi Hayden. Um, uh, the fights, I really feel like I got happy with my fights by the end, by the time we were doing the third film. Um, it, I mean, it took a really long time and I was taught by the most amazing people that it was something I'd never ever done before, so that was a tricky. And my hair, um, it took about half an hour, 45 minutes, I'd say. What was your reaction when you first got asked to be in Star Wars? And I was wondering, how long did it take you to learn the Jedi stunts? Hi, Matthew and Harrison. When I first was told I was going to be in it, I remember thinking, is the world going to stop? What's going on? And then I was at this play that my friend was in and I had to just go back in and carry on watching the play and not tell anyone until I got home. And then I told my family and it was just so strange and I wasn't allowed to tell anyone else for three months. So it was actually very, very weird, um, but obviously amazing. The Jedi stance. I reckon everyone's capable of a Jedi stance. <laughs> Hi, Sophia. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> what was your favorite droid in the Star Wars? My favorite droid is BB-8. I think BB-8 was the first really character that I ever worked with. Um, I just love BB-8 so much. <laughs> What's yours? Um, probably C-3PO. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. It's just mm. one of my favorites. Sturdy, reliable. Yeah. Yeah. What's a funny story from behind the scenes that you haven't told anyone? Oh. What's a funny story from behind the scenes that I haven't told anyone? Well, I really hope they re release the bloopers because there were quite a few bloopers. We had to do this thing where um, we would do the scene with dialogue and then it was helpful for JJ and Mariana, our editor, to um, get bits of us not speaking for trailers and stuff like that. So a few times we'd have to do the scenes um, without dialogue and we would all just wet ourselves laughing. So I really hope they come out at, at some point because it was, it was, we had so much fun but those uh, times were particularly great. Harry, what is your Star Wars name? Um, it is Ha Ha Lobro. Mitz Mon Molog. Mine is Sophus Diabri. You guys have way cooler names than me. Mine is Dairy Fallen. What weapon does Chewbacca carry? A bowcaster. What vehicle did Ray live in? Uh, an 8080. What business did Luke's Uncle Owen run? Uh, moisture farmer. 
Wow. Daisy, we know it's very late for you and so we don't want to keep you too long, but we have an amazing group of hospital healthcare workers, nurses, doctors, volunteers, and we're wondering if you have a little special message for them. I would say you're all amazing usually, but I'm sure um, now is particularly difficult. So amazing, amazing, amazing. What you do is amazing and the joy you bring people is amazing. Um, keep on keeping on. Beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Is oh, it for 2020? nice. Oh, yes. Are these the famous see? prosthetics? Yeah. Do you want to talk us through them, Michael? Well, each knee costs about over a thousand dollars, and and that they're, they're they're like designed so that so that I'm able to sit down properly without like going plonk on a chair. Nice. And how? Who do you have on there? I can see Yoda. I can see C three PO. I I even have I even have a clone on I even have clones on there. Nice. Are they quite comfortable? Yeah. Guys, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, Daisy. Have a beautiful night's sleep as well. Thank you. And may the force be with you all and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later. May the force be with you all. See ya. Bye. You too. Bye.